In December of 2016, three guys formed a brewery. The place was to become Solace Brewing Company, and they have since become a force to be reckoned with in the Sterling, Virginia area. The idea behind Solace was to create an environment conducive to helping its customers find their solace, or rather, find their zen over a pint or two. Their logo depicts hops growing from a mountainside, reflecting the peaceful philosophy of the brewery's name. Solace is a very family-friendly brewery that focuses on the IPA style in particular and offers a range of beers to choose from. A very long, curving bar top is situated in the back of the brewery, making orders easy, and a very large children's area is present at the front. Back in the business room, they house four 40-barrel fermenters and one bright tank. Along with that, they also have a 60-barrel unit tank and two huge 80-barrel unit tanks to round out the brew house. Solace can be found distributed in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. With all that out of the way, let's taste some beer. Hey guys, it's Andy and Sandra again. Welcome to another episode of Brew Review. Today we are at Solace Brewing in Sterling, Virginia. And this is a fairly new brewery. It About opened, a year old, I think. Yeah, it opened a little over a year ago. And um, they're a little on the IPA heavy side, at least that's the kind of beer they like to brew here, which is great because I love IPAs. We're ready. Um, so we decided to check this one out. First beer we got. So the first beer we're gonna do is actually, just came out, it's a fall beer. It's an Oktoberfest and it is a Marzen and it's mm. called Gute Nacht. Good probably. night. Yeah, I probably German? said that wrong, but uh, I tried. No, but let yes. us know in the comments how you pronounce that. That looks delicious. Mm. This looks, Who's gonna oh, do I'm going to do it first. <laughs> Typical Marzen-y flavor to it. Kind of like a caramel undertone. Nice, beautiful color, caramel color. It has body to it. There's there's texture a bit on the mouth. I really like the uh, balance of that one, actually. Yeah. Sometimes these, these Marzen's are, to me, anywhere, like overly malty, like almost too sweet. OK, yeah. And yeah, and this one's just like kind yeah. of really balanced. This one's nice, yeah. I like that. Gotta get another sip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's lighter than uh, a lot of Marzins yep. that we've had, I think. I think I'm just gonna give this one a three and a half. Um, I want it to be a little bit more robust in the body, especially coming into those colder months, I want my beers to be a little bit heavier. Um, so three and a half for me. Above average, definitely really good, really balanced. I like the taste out of it. Ditto. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's do another kind of malt heavy beer. This one just came out and it's called Kick Rocks. It's Obviously a full-bodied stout that apparently has hints of chocolate, more so than it's, I guess, roasty. It's 7%. Yeah, super malty. I'm definitely getting- Yeah, I'm getting that. That like kind of espresso taste. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she likes. This is like my coffee in the morning. This morning. This morning, yeah. Yeah, it almost feels like you're drinking um, a stout with just coffee in it. It's really good. That's good. It's, the coffee flavor mm. is really, really present. It smells like coffee too. That's very awesome. I'm going with a four on that one. It yeah. has kind of everything you'd expect out of that beer. Um, a little forward on the chocolate and coffee notes, which I actually like a lot. I dig that. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah. I like those stouts to be chocolatey and roasty and bigger. Know, Lots of roasting notes in it. Definitely a plus for me. So I think I'll give it a four as well. Yeah, that's a good that's yeah. a good call on that one. All right, cool. Well, let's move on to all the IPAs we have. I think we have three different ones. So let's let's just start with the lightest to the heaviest, I guess. Okay. Um, so this is a session IPA. Suns out, hops out. It's four point seven percent. Looks really good. It looks uh, it's a little bit hazy. It just smells like hops, man. It smells good. This is the only beer that they're currently canning right now and that you can actually find in supermarkets uh, through their distributor. This one you can actually go grab right after you watch this. Which should. I will be. Right? It's a nice session. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's good. It's got that classic hop character to it. It's really forward, but it remains pretty balanced. But it's light, yeah. yeah it's it's an easy drinking beer. It's not too, bear it's not too bitter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like stick to the back of your throat. Clean finish. I like it. This is good. I really like that one. You can tell by how much I drank it. Yeah. Okay, that cool. That is great. Yeah, I really like that one. I'm going to go ahead and give that one a four and a half. I really like that beer. Um, the only thing I think holding it back is uh, 
just a little bit more body. But I mean, again, this is a session IPA. Um, I think it's really good. I think it's a four. Yeah. I, I just I like have a, a preference to session IPAs. I like so lower alcohol. Here. Yeah, I like lower alcohol beers. I like IPAs. So that's the perfect place for me to be. So the next one is the partly cloudy. It's as you can tell, it's a very cloudy beer. It is partly cloudy. It's a New England style IPA, and it is double dry hopped. Ooh. So extra hoppiness. It, uh, it strangely doesn't smell super super hoppy. It's brewed with El Dorado and Citra. It's like really juicy. You'll love that. It smells delicious. I can smell that citra. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, just has a tropical a zest to it right up on the nose. It's that citra hop. Yeah. Tropical fruits on the nose. It's really good. I'm gonna go with the four on that one. I'm going with the four and a half on that one. Oh yeah. Once again, we're a little biased. I love the New England IPA. So yeah. We kind it has of really a little like soft it. spot in my heart. The juicier, the better, <laughs> because you can, right? So hazy IPAs are hazy because they're just unfiltered. Like this is just yeast sediment and stuff that's been left in. They haven't been secondary or anything like that. Um, so that's that's pretty much the reason. That extra yeast in there adds to the uh, fruity complexity and the hop character of the beer itself. So that's why they're so kind of juicy. Yeah. So then our last IPA here is called Alligator Poetry. It's a strange I, I name. Don't know we don't know where they came from. Alligator. It's cute. It's a little hazy. Um, it's also another ah. IPA. I smell this real fast. This one's brewed with Simico and Centennial. Ooh, that's crisp and dry. That has a nice mouthfeel to it. And that's it does. Bitter. It's a little bit more silky, I feel like. This is definitely, the hops in there definitely kind of stick to the back of your throat a bit. Yeah. Um, but it's totally different from the partly cloudy totally from different. this session. So if you're looking for a, that's a drier IPA, this is definitely it. But that's nice to have that like dr almost drastic variation. You get this like hazy, juicy, yummy, and then you go like super dry, hoppy. Yeah. Nice mouthfeel to it. Crisp. Mm. That's cool. I like that. What are you going with it? I think four and a half is good. I'm gonna go with the four on this one. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It's really good. It's good. Since they're an IPA heavy brewery, you, they really have to kind of differentiate each IPA in a, in a drastic way. Um, and this is just proof of that. Uh, they're trying different things with the IPAs, you know, which is good. Yeah, four for me. Really awesome. good. These are all really good beers. It's a good brewery. All right, guys, well, that's it for today from Solace Brewing Company. I hope you had a good time watching the video. A big shout out has to go out to Tori for letting us come in and shoot beforehand when the brewery opens. It's been really great being here with you guys. Excellent beers at this place. I recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already. All right, well, that does it for us. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Look, there's already people here. Ten Who open. comes to the brewery at 10 o'clock in the morning? Except for us. That guy's a drunk for sure. It's a baby. And it's noon. Who turned the lights out? It's a lot of beer that we still have to drink. Yeah. Time to chug. Mm. And it's not even noon. Well, that does it for us from, mm. Do my ears, my Dumbo ears look okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. How are we wasted right now? <laughs> it's too early for this. Beer is life. Life is beer. That should go in a hat. Beer is life, life is good. That should be. Yeah, this should, you should wear shirts of that. A brewery should like do a spin on that brand, but make it a little naughty so it's no longer like, Man, tuck it like cheesy with the little guy that's like, life is good because my name is guy. Jake. Good people, good beer. What's their slogan? I don't know, but this is a kids' area. Oh, but gosh. why was it even a trend? I'm not sure why it was even it's a, a thing. Stick person. It, it looks Let's like a first that. grader drew Jake. Should we ask Siri and, and expect a, a correct answer? 
dumb to begin with. I don't even know why. Hey it's Siri. Okay. All right, well that's it for us for today from Solace. That was good. Mm, 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 mm. Whoever bites a shirt's gonna be like, why does it smell like beer? See Siri again, man. Like that. No, no, no correct sources. No. Three stick kids. people. So stick people. When you're waiting 10 minutes before the brewery opens outside by your car. You know you have a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do want to shout out to Tori. And thanks She's for... cool. Well, that's it for today from Solace. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.